This is Andy from Orbit Media, and I'm making this video to help you with a little analytic setup thing that can be very important depending on how your website's constructed. If you have anything at a subdomain, as a, in other words, something dot website.com, stuff there probably isn't being tracked in your analytics properly uh, unless you do this extra little setup thing uh, so that the reports in analytics show the full URL of every page that's recorded uh, in your reports. So if you don't have this set up and you do have content at another, at a subdomain, uh, for example, you have a blog at blog.website.com or you have landing pages at resources.website.com, uh, that's not gonna show up in your analytics uh, or be easily reported unless you do this little trick, okay? What will happen will look like this. The visitor who goes from website.com to blog.website.com and back to your website, it actually looks like two different visitors and three different visits. That's not ideal. What you really want it to look like is one visitor and one visit. Otherwise, you're over-reporting traffic and visits. Here's an example. This is a, a plumbing and heating supply website. Um, great brand, local brand. They've got a blog. I go to the blog. I'm now on blog website.com. So I want to set up analytics to be able to track that properly and show all the traffic to the subdomain uh, in the same reports. Of course, to do this, I first have to have my GA tracking code, the JavaScript tracking code for Google Analytics on the subdomain, which is not a difficult thing to do. If you're using a plugin over there or you've got a developer, just make sure that they do that first, of course. And uh, then we have to change this one configuration inside Google Analytics. Here's how it works. So right now the traffic in analytics is only showing the path after the domain. The home page is slash, this showrooms page is slash bath kitchen showroom. What I want to see is the full URL, including the domain. In other words, including the host name. So to do that, I'm going to go into the admin section and I'm going to begin by creating a new view. This way I'll have a separate place to look at these and it won't start affecting the data in that same view. I think it makes sense to first create a new view. To do so, you need to have proper user management settings for the account that you're logged in under. Uh, assuming you have that, you're going to create a new view. I'm going to create my new view and call it full URL. I'm going to set the, the appropriate time frame, and then I'm going to click to create the view. Great. Now this view doesn't have goals set up yet. It doesn't have any filters set up yet. So I may need to do more of those things as well to make sure that I'm tracking conversions and everything else properly. But to track subdomains, it's just a matter of adding a filter. Here's how it works. Within the new view, we click filter. Then we click the big red button. This filter name is going to be called show full URL. It's going to be a custom filter in an advanced custom filter. This gives us three fields. Field A to extract A. We're gonna start with host name because that's the domain. And it's gonna be parenthesis dot star parenthesis. It's kind of everything. And field B will be request URI, everything after the, everything in the report, everything after the dot com or domain extension, parenthesis dot star parenthesis. Output to the request URI and this is the constructor. So we're gonna basically say field A, which is dollar sign A1, and field B, dollar sign B1. Field A is required, and we're gonna leave override output field checked. Click to save the filter. So now we have a new view with the show you full URL filter in place. And now as we go to check on the traffic, we should now be seeing the full URL shown. It may take a second because there are visitors on the site that were there from before you created the filter. Go to a page, hit refresh, go back to analytics, and there you can see the full URL is exposed. So now you have one view that has all the people that are on a subdomain. It's showing the full URL. Uh, anyone on any page uh, is going to show uh, in analytics, even if they are in a place that uh, isn't on the main domain. This is really useful. You don't need to have separate views for 
your HubSpot blog and your Unbounce landing pages, you can put them all in the same view just by making that little filter to show the full URL. Again, this is Andy from Orbit. We hope this is useful. Uh, I think it's an important thing, and I hope that uh, those of you that do have a marketing technology stack that has things that are kind of hosted in different places uh, can use this, create a new view for this, and begin to do all of your analysis for everybody all in one place. So you're no longer reporting visitors going back and forth between subdomains and your main website as multiple visitors and multiple visits. Users and sessions are all combined in one big place. That was fun. Hope you found this useful. We'll keep making more of these. Again, if you know anyone who might uh, find this practical, feel free to send it along. We'd be grateful. See you next time.